Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, we're going to take a look at some top tips to help you survive in dead side, from getting dog tags from AI to choosing your spawn point to the best ways to heal yourself when wounded. A quick and easy way to tear up rags and collect is pressing G on an item of clothing. Instantly turns to rags, then pick it up. That's the best way to pick up rags quickly. Okay, they must have... They've increased the uh, bandage. So normal bandages do a little bit more healing now than they used to. They give you four or five health points instead of two, which is what they used to do. That's cool. So we've learned something new today. Let's put a couple more of these on then as we've got plenty. Another tip, you can actually move while you're bandaging. Uh, be honest, I didn't know this until i just done it. So there you go, bonus tip. Uh, what, if, what you can do is then go to crafting if you've got alcohol on you and craft a sterilized rag with rubbing alcohol, moonshine or vodka, which then does the slightly better, the medium range heal. We go to crafting and we can see we can craft one sterilized rag with vodka. Okay, from 87 to full, that's not a bad rag. That is not bad at all. Also, be very wary of AI on the roads. That is AI there, just roaming randomly on the street. You can de-aggro if you run away. But they are a good source of loot, ammo, rags, maybe dog tags. Which we will need later on. They are pretty accurate though, so you've got to be careful. And we are wounded. They caught us off guard there. There we go. I think we wiped that. Wiped that squad. And there we go. We got a vest. Got some more ammo. We could potentially sell. More rags. Got to pick all these up. We need to heal. Now, fingers crossed. That one of these has dog tags. Now, we've got cigarettes. I don't know if we can sell those in the trader. That's worth keeping hold of. Ideally now, though, we're pretty wounded. And I've not got the best of gear to heal myself up. So we're going to head to the safe zone and see what we can sell. And buy some better bandages, maybe, if we get enough money. Maybe find some more AI on the way and get a dog tag. Another thing you want to keep into consideration is the lack of loot storage. So you only have your standard trousers with two slots. You want to find a top, straight away give you an extra four slots. A vest and a backpack. You can craft with rags and rope. So yeah, there's not a lot of inventory space in Dead Side. You need to get those clothing items ASAP and get craft in a backpack, a basic backpack. Obviously, there are different tiers of clothing items. And you can place tactical markers. It says on the left side of the screen. So what you can do is place more than one. So that's the marker I just left for this town to come out. And we go up another marker for the safe zone. So you can place multiple about and they're all different colors. So you can set like a path to, to follow if you want. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really handy to, to... It doesn't say you can do multiple, I don't think. No, it just says... Tech, you probably figure that out by accident if you misclick or something or double click. But uh, for those that don't know... You can set multiple markers of points of interest that you want to check out one after the other and set yourself a little trail. So there we can see our 100 stack of 762 by 25. We can sell for 200 of the in-game monies. Here we go. And then we got 200 cash. We do have a storage as well, but you can only use the north storage and the self storage separately. You can't transfer from one to the other. So we'll put our money in there when we have money spare as well. So we'll try and keep safe. So this guy don't want to buy anything else off us other than our guns. So I don't really want to sell the guns because I do need them. Though, you could sell and get better healing equipment um, and get more guns. Yeah, probably put some extra ammo you don't need as well away until you've gathered up enough to uh, to actually, you know, sell them. Uh, he doesn't want cigarettes. I thought one of them would want cigarettes, but apparently not. Okay, so you want to check both traders. So cigarettes, 400, that is a good, good sell price for a pack of cigarettes. So we'll stack all our money in there. He'll buy food as well and drink. But he won't buy our weapons, but he'll buy our tools. So that torch, I don't really want a torch, so we'll sell that. So if I wanted to, I could go into his recovery items and buy a bandage now for a thousand. That takes it straight out of your storage as well, so it'll keep it nice and safe. You don't have to worry about transferring your money back and forth while you're at the trader. You just put it in your storage, and that's where it'll stay safely. So, um, And we got a bandage there, so we're at 74 health now. 
So if I come out of the trader and we heal while we're here, and this will give us the maximum amount of healing, but it's going to cost you a pretty penny to get all that healing done. And of course, with any survival game, you could step out the safe zone and lose it all as soon as you've spent all that money and hard work. Ugh, gear fear. And now we've sorted our inventory out, we can go back out and adventure and gather more ammo and things to sell. If we find another torch, we'll bring one of those back. And if you raise enough money, you can go into equipment in this trader, and there is loads of different clothes. You can buy military-looking Gorka vests, bigger vests, bigger backpacks, armor. There's all sorts of cool stuff you can buy. Different hats. There we go, look. Heavy assault helmet, but that's a lot of money. 60,000. A lot of playtime and not dying, I'll tell you that. So good luck out there raising money. Ugh, it's got to be a trip. One thing you could do to try and gather money a bit quicker is loot cycle towns. I don't, I don't like to say it, but you could go to the town close to the safe zones out here and uh, try and like just loot up, come back, sell, loot up, sell. A, mm, a big chance you're going to get shot maybe though because it's close to the safe zone. People are going to be leaving and maybe having the same idea. Uh, as always, it's a lot of risk for reward. It's always worth checking these cars. I've found some really nice guns sat in the back of these cars, even on the back window here. Okay, that was a player. He's got some nice stuff, so we're going to drop my shotgun there. That looks like it needs repairing, but we're going to grab all of his gear quick. Just going to grab his extra pistol to sell at the trader. I'm going to keep heading south to the south trader, and we'll sell up this stuff and see how much money we can make on these extra guns. Okay, we've got two geared players here running up towards me. And I'm going to choose to hide because I want to get to that trader. Going up that hill there. Look like they're pretty well geared. Sometimes it's best to choose when to not fight. Ah, machine oil is worth a pretty penny. So we'll sell that. Can't sell anything else to this guy. Uh, but we'll make sure we keep all our money in our storage. Always make sure you've got one food and drink on you as well. Because uh, if you get desperate, it could be not so good. So when you've got some money, I always make sure I've bought one of each for my next journey out. It keeps you going for quite a while, actually. So it's not too bad. Not been in one of these buses before. Whoa! And that happened. Got dog tags here. And now we've got a dog tag in our inventory. Just there can be exchanged for reputation points. We'll go back to the safe zone, trade it in. And we should get some spawn point options the next time we die. Which is an interesting way of doing it. But they are extremely rare to find on the AI. So here we are speaking to a trader. It looks like we get 15 reputation points. We sell that in. And we got 15. And I believe it uses some of that to spawn so you need to keep getting dog tags to keep spawning so uh, i don't know how much it is maybe 10 i would imagine we'll find out when i die so i'll just sort out all my loot which uh you know i've made 7.8k in just those few little trips so it didn't take me long to get that much and uh, there are weapons you can buy got 10k so we're not far off like mm, 6k for a scorpion 30k it wouldn't take long to get an mp5 or a p p9 well yeah it'll take long for a p90 uh there's a hundred stack of shotgun shells we've just made, so we'll sell those for 200 as well. Oh, there we go. 8.2k. We've sold everything. All we're back down to is our pistol, some bullets, and some bandages again. Always check the floors as well, look, because build those up and sell them. Every, every little bit counts. It's, you know what I mean? So we'll stack them back up in there. We might find some more, and that's an easy 200 bucks there. Let's head back out, see if we can die and respawn. Now we've dropped everything... I've got some nice clothes, though. Nah, we'll just go get... Wait, it's for science. Oh, new mission. That's where we'll die. At that mission. I'll, I'll give a go at the mission, but I'm not expecting to live. Uh, there are a lot of AI at the missions. You've got to take them out first. Then there's a loot box that is highlighted for you to go and loot. But then you've got players to worry about as well. So... 
very risky. Uh, if you've got a group to play with, much, much, much easier. More eyes on the prize. But as we'll see, I might, I might take. Oh, is he shoot? Is that? It's got to be an AI shooting me through the wall there. Oh no, there's actually a hole in the fence. A couple close there. Oh. And a player turns up right in the corner of the war after I've wiped out over half the AI. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. And once you're dead, press at location and you get a choice of spawns. So we can choose there. I guess those are red because we don't have enough spawn points, reputation points to spawn at those other locations. So that's pretty close to the mission. So if I, and it's going to cost us 10. There we go. 10 reputation. We can spawn right close to the mission again where we died. And it's just south of us. That's not too bad. A little bit weird, but I guess you've not got anything to run back to your mission. So... There's a, there's a very low chance you're going to get gear back. The thing is, we do have a marker on our body, so I could get back to my body and loot it. I've just taken that guy out with his rifle. And voila, I got my loot back. And killed the guy that killed me. I think that was the guy that killed me. <laughs> and then there's a duo turns up as I turn around. Oh, you could have just run there. And have just run and saved the loot. But there we go. I've only got five spawn points now. And that's Blacktail. We can see I can't spawn now. So I hope you enjoyed those tips and tricks and bit of gameplay there for you guys for Dead Side. That's not bad. There's a lot of PvP, though. Stay safe out there, and uh, hopefully these tips can help you survive a little bit longer in the world of Deadside. I'll see you peeps next time. Sometimes it's best to choose when to not fight so we don't lose everything. Or you just lose everything.